Hey guys, Eckhart Slaughter here, I hope everything is well. A few people have been messaging me this past couple days about one potential leak that's been talked about quite frequently, and I haven't really talked about episode 8 leaks in the past couple days besides for when I talked about that potential script leak. So let me just backtrack and start from the beginning. A couple days ago, MakingStarWars.net posted an article about a necklace that Luke Skywalker is going to be wearing in episode 8. And before I continue, I just want to say one thing really quickly, and that is thank you to the people over at MakingStarWars.net. They are the ones who not only leak everything, but reliably leak everything. They've got the best sources. Obviously, people like me aren't in a position to actually get the leaks, but we do enjoy analyzing them, adding our own opinion. But without you guys, we couldn't do all that. So thank you. Anyway, back on the leak. So they've said that he will wear a necklace in The Last Jedi that's shaped like a dog whistle, but that has a crystal, a red crystal, poking out of the bottom. And when this article came out, they speculated, and many in the community, myself included, speculated that perhaps that is the lightsaber crystal of Darth Vader. Now, the logistics of this, I think, are a bit unclear. Obviously, the lightsaber is presumed to have blown up in the Death Star. And at the end of Return of the Jedi, we see Luke chop Vader's hand off, and it appears like the lightsaber falls down a shaft, although there has been some discussion whether it falls or not. But I, I think that's really immaterial because the Death Star blows up. Although I will say there are arguments that the lightsaber might still exist. And the first is that they're obviously durable. I mean, Luke drops his lightsaber down the shaft in Bespin. And if you look closely, you can actually see it fall out of Cloud City, and that's obviously still around by the time of The Force Awakens. We also learn in Aftermath Life Death that the Alderaan Flotilla was gifted the remains of the first Death Star. So obviously the destruction of the Death Star doesn't vaporize everything like it would appear in the movie. And in the first Aftermath book, there's also rumors that Darth Vader's lightsaber has been traded around, although many people think that that's probably just a fake. The other argument is that, you know, the Force can do mysterious things, from allowing Rey to beat Kylo Ren in a fight, to allowing Anakin to blow up the droid control ship, and having C-3PO and R2-D2 land on Tatooine and stumble onto Luke. The Force can do mysterious things, perhaps. That's what happened with Vader's lightsaber. Although many people have questioned this just because it is so unlikely, and you have to also wonder, would Luke want Darth Vader's old lightsaber? I mean, that thing is a symbol of pure evil. It struck down Obi-Wan, it fought Luke on numerous occasions. As we saw in Rogue One, he killed many rebels. I'm sure that's just a very small glimpse into the daily life of Darth Vader. I mean, if I were Luke, I'd be worried about the corrupting influence of the thing, just because we know that artifacts in the Star Wars universe have a kind of power to them. It is kind of an interesting idea though, and the new canon has been embracing the idea of kyber crystals and the powers behind them, so it's really hard to say even if it does seem kind of unlikely. Also noteworthy is that one of the other big leak sites in that Star Wars news net has posted an opinion piece trying to debunk the making Star Wars leak. You guys should go check that out for yourself because it is kind of interesting and does kind of summarize the issue some people have with the idea that Luke might have Darth Vader's lightsaber because no people are arguing that he might have a red crystal around his neck, but I think people are really taking issue with the fact that he might have his lightsaber. I think they predicate much of their argument on a reading of the screenplay, which clearly says that Darth Vader's lightsaber is destroyed or it falls down the shaft. I will say that I'm not entirely convinced from that argument just because the screenplay is not strictly canon, especially where it was, you know, written by a different group than the ones who are handling the new canon. So the fact that the screenplay says that it's not the lightsaber doesn't really convince me in the slightest. But to be fair, I'm not necessarily convinced by making Star Wars. Well, I don't think making Star Wars is saying that it's Darth Vader's lightsaber. They've suggested that it's a possibility. It's something that the community has kind of ran with. But what do you guys think? What is that red crystal around Luke's neck that's purportedly in Star Wars Episode Eight? And I'm gonna link to the Making Star Wars article so you guys can check it out on your own. Do you trust making Star Wars generally? Is any part of that leak legitimate? And if so, do you think the crystal is actually Darth Vader's crystal from his lightsaber? Or perhaps it's the entire lightsaber itself sheathed within the necklace. Anyways guys, let me know what you think down in the comments and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I hope you guys like how I'm mixing up kind of lore videos, top 5 videos, and the leaks. So if you guys like that, also leave a thumbs up. If you don't, leave a thumbs down and let me know in the comments how you want my videos to be structured. Anyways guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. May the force be with you.